but kama kuna mtu najua god alimaliza mwenyewe eh na najua he needs a lot of repentance juu ya nini ama nini ndio awaisikika ni mtu kama david wana kwa ni mimi vile nilitoka hata hiyo gospel because they are full of shit Nalea. karibu kwa mara nyingine kwenye plug tv your number one entertainment channel kama kawaida if you're watching us for the first time welcome to plug tv this is where we plug you with every trending story in our trending on the internet ni story kuhusu mwanamuziki ambaye ni nguli wa nyimbo za kimapenzi kutoka hapa Kenya anayejulikana kama Bahati. Na mwanamuziki huyu ameweza kufunguka kwa mara ya kwanza na kuzungumza kuhusu yule msanii anayejulikana kama David Wanda. Kumbuka kwamba David Wanda alikuwa chini ya umiliki wa Bahati miaka kadhaa iliyopita. Alikuwa signed under EMB Records many years ago. Lakini David Wanda akajiondoa. Na tangu ajiondoe chini ya EMB Records yeye yeah, na bahati wakaacha kuzungumza wakaacha ku, ku, kufanya kazi pamoja na mwanamuziki huyu kwa mara ya kwanza ameweza kumkejeli na kumkashifu vibaya David Wanda kupitia video fulani ambayo mkewe ameweka kupitia kutoka kwa kijamii wa YouTube na kwenye video ile ambayo mkewe alikuwa anazungumza kuhusu uh, vile wamekuwa waki grow pamoja kama the bahatis na vile producer wa bahati anayejulikana kama Mesesi na yule kijana anayejulikana kama Vini Flavor walivyokuwa kitamani sana kukutana na bahati na mwisho akaanza kufanya kazi pamoja uh, bahati akaweza kuzungumzia kuhusu David Wanda pia na bahati mwenyewe anadai kwamba David Wanda mziki wake ulimalizwa na Mungu na kwamba msanii huyu anafaa kutubu dhambi kwa kuchukulia kimzaha ule usaidizi ambao bahati alimsaidia nao hebu sikiza hapa vile bahati alivyomkashifu David Wanda kwa kama mtoto wangu una, una understand eh? Ni kama one of the one of the things sijawahi ongea. Una understand? Unajua mimi naweza ongea saa hii juu ndio kata hiyo industry. Kama una mtu anakuambia na na that new than ni that's one of the sijai sijai kubali kuongelelea anyone kwa public. But kama kuna mtu najua God alimaliza mwenyewe. Eh? Na najua he needs a lot of repentance juu ya nini ama nini ndio awaisikika mtu kama David Wanda that was to be one of the biggest stars Kenya she have not because he is talented but because i sacrificed my great we <laughs> na mwana mziki upi akaweza kuzungumzia kuhusu sekta ya nyimbo za injili hapa Kenya akidai kwamba the main reason why the gospel industry in Kenya does not grow anymore ni kwa sababu ya ule ubinafsi umeendelea kukaa pale kwenye sekta ya nyimbo za injili hapa Kenya kidai kwamba kuna maovu mengi yanayotendeka pale kwenye sekta ya nyimbo za injili hapa Kenya na ndio maana mwenyewe akajiondoa na ndio maana yeye mwenyewe anasikia tu yako sawa mahali aliko hebu sikiza vile mwanamuziki huyo alivyosema hapa understand see it is not me actually ingekuwa ni mimi vile nilitoka hata hiyo gospel because they are full of shit they, they, the gospel industry is just full of shit because they don't have the gospel of Jesus in them ingekuwa vile nilitoka basi wangekuwa prosperous unaelewa but hawakunijamisha mimi walijamisha god and if guys if you follow the bahati so well after we closed EMB and I in a way quit the gospel industry I nilitoka kwa scandals yani in secular where they think the devil is nimekuwa at peace na god amen bless even more than new industry because you see our gospel industry one of the reasons it's yeongelela but i think it's a good platform one of the reasons the gospel industry and the artist and i can say confidently because i know god raised me from the gospel i am saved one of the reasons the artists are not growing amount of at even hits like before is because our hearts are dirty our hearts are gonna jealous our hearts are ni ungrateful judu leo unasaidia mtu kesho you understand yani hata eri vile sauti solo anasaidia kinanviri you'll never because i think in secular they know loyalty and you know god blesses loyalty
wewe hehe kumbuka kwamba msanii huyu alikuwa anafanya nyimbo za injili back in the days na miaka kadhaa iliyopita mwanamuziki huyu akaamua kutoka kwenye gospel industry and right now he is in secular na kulingana na yeye bahati still maintains that he is still born again yani ameokoka na si ati ame backslide na right now ule mziki ambao anaufanya afanye mziki tu wa nyimbo za injili peke yake anafanya tu mziki ambao unajulikana kama contemporary music kulingana na bahati Anadai kwamba right now mahali yuko ana feel ako safe and very safer na tangu atoke kwenye nyimbo za injili akaacha kuandamwa na scandals na vituko huku na kule. Kwa hivyo he is trying to say that while he was in the gospel industry uh, kulikuwa anapata hizi uh, vituko tu vituko kila mahali. Wewe sijui mimi nitasema nini kuhusu mwanamuziki huyu. <laughs> Wacheni hapo comments kwenye comment section tuambie. Thank you for watching. Let's me next time. Bye bye.